Happy 2024. Welcome to the Totally Designs channel. If you like to create, you like to grow, you like to know, or you simply just want to come and hang out, go ahead and press that like and subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Now, I hope you enjoy today's video. Hey, YouTube family, it's Casey from Totally Designs, and I'm back to do a paint a thon. I'm doing this because I'm thoroughly enjoying painting all of these beautiful earring canvases, as you see here. And I am getting more requests to make more. Um, I made 10 of them, and I believe I already sold six. I have four more left. And there was a black pair that, as you guys remember, if you don't remember, go back to the other video where I do the reveal. And I kept those for myself because there was a little bit of a malfunction with the sticker that I placed on there and they're mine so I wasn't going to sell them and I really like them well guess what somebody saw those and they're like I want a pair like that and I said okay well I have to make them and so now this is why I'm doing the video my pain -a -thon. So come on and join me. Go get your painting supplies. Go get your beads or whatever you're going to work on. Your crochet. And let's go ahead and enjoy some painting and some conversation. Now, if it sounds like I'm a little bit breathy or airy, guys, or nasally, it's because I do have a bit of a head cold. But I'm not going to let the head cold stop me from doing what I want to do, right? All right, so let me show you what I will be using. I will be using these paint brushes. I got these off of Amazon. And then I also got these paint brushes off of Tamu, okay? And I also purchased this paint brush holder, which does come in handy because you don't want to always have to put the brush down on a piece of paper or the desk or whatever this is what this was made for and if you want to order this i will put this in the link okay and i do get a little bit of a commission off of this if you do purchase through that link okay all right let's get started so i'm gonna just start off with the black because like i said i'm getting this by popular demand a request by popular it is popular i guess all right, so as you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do strokes. It doesn't have to be even right now. Just paint. Keep painting. This is very, very therapeutic. I love doing it. And I don't just make jewelry just for the therapeutic purposes, but I actually enjoy what I'm doing. That is like an additive to what I'm doing. I really get genuine joy out of painting and making jewelry. And hopefully that is your case too. So I'm almost done with the first canvas. Now guys, what I do is I do allow this to dry before I do a second coat, if the second coat is necessary. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And we'll see after this coat dries. This usually takes about five minutes to dry per coat. Sometimes it could take a little bit longer. But don't be in a rush. It'll dry when it needs to dry. I know sometimes we want to hurry up and, you know, do our painting and move on to the next. But we're going to take our time right now. This may be a little lengthy of a video. So if you don't mind the video being long, go ahead and hang out with me. And if not, go ahead and fast forward as you know you can do. All right, so again, I'm just painting. I think people are enjoying these earrings much more than I'm enjoying painting them. Um, because we've gotten a lot of responses on these. And also, some of you have stated that you love the painting videos. 
If you do love painting videos, let me know. I'll do more. Okay. Happy Sunday to you all. I am so grateful to be in the land of the living. God has blessed me to see another day, and so I'm always rejoicing over that. Alrighty, so here we are. I am actually done with this one. So, but while I got the uh, the black paint out, I'm going to actually do a couple of more canvases with black. And then I'm going to show you the color that I purchased from Tamu. It's a copper color. It's really, really pretty. And I'll show you that momentarily. As you can see, it doesn't take very long to paint the canvas. Unless you're doing like two tones, and I'll probably do some of those too in the video if time permits. If I feel like the video is not too long, I will add that in there. Um, I want to know if some of you are having problem with pricing your jewelry. Do you know how to price your jewelry? Are you even selling your jewelry? And if you are, leave me something in the, the chat. And I might do a video about how I do things. It all depends on the type of work you're doing and the cost of your supplies. Okay? Always keep that in mind. Oh, by the way, so I did do the women's conference this week. I only went to, uh, two days this week. It was a three day, but I didn't go the first night because it was raining and I really didn't want to deal with the rain. I'm not a person that likes to really drive in the rain only because people act so crazy in the rain. They they drive like bats out of hell. And I'm like, where are you going? And it makes no sense to me why people drive fast in the rain. I don't understand that. You know, there's so many um, things happening on the road. They have oil on the road. You can do a hydroplane. And if you don't know what that is, it's just basically when the water and the oil comes together and you do this spin with your car and it's not fun i've actually had that happen to me before all right all right so now i have already done the black so i'm going to set those aside and i'm going to use the paintbrush holder to put this particular brush inside of it now i do have this copper now this is what i bought from tamu too and i will go ahead and post the link for that as well in case you're interested in purchasing that beautiful copper color all right so <clears throat> let's go on with the next one so we're, i'm just gonna paint this copper oh this i think this is gonna be really nice we'll see If there's a particular color that you're interested in seeing me work with, let me know. I know that April, she uh, mentioned some paints, and I'm going to check those out really soon off of Amazon. I haven't had a chance to do it yet. But she mentioned some that she was telling me about that she wanted me to try. So I'm definitely going to try it, and then I'll let you know how, how that works. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, yeah, I think this is pretty. I'm going to put it up so you guys can see it in just a second. Just give me a moment. And guys, I am right-handed. I know it looks like in the camera that I'm painting with my left hand. No, I'm painting with my right hand, just in case you guys were wondering. You probably weren't. Just something I added in the video. Okay, here we go. Oh, these are going to come out quite nice.
what are you guys doing differently in your jewelry making or your crochet or or your um, painting? Don't be afraid to try new things. Okay, so let me put this brush down really quickly. And I'm just going to put up to show you that color. Isn't that gorgeous? As you can see, it doesn't take very long. What takes the longest is just the drying part. And sometimes it can take more than five minutes depending on the paint you're using. But I like this copper so far. This is pretty nice. I think that's the name of it, yeah. It looks like a copper to me. What do you guys think? So back to the um, the conference, I, I really um, did well there. It was um, I was at New Providence. It's one of our um, sister churches. And I went there and it was really, really good. And I'm sorry for the dog in the background, y'all. I don't know. They, I don't know if they know when I'm on recording or I don't know. But it's life, right? Okay. And so I'm just going to continue to paint that for a second. There we go. And there's always people walking around doing... God knows what sometimes. They like to stand around. They don't, I don't know why they like to stand around in front of other people's apartments. It's really weird. And sometimes they're just walking by and the dogs get agitated. So, by the way, I have another um, conference coming up and it's called... Um, the black the brown girl collective it's a friend of mine and i'm going to be um doing some vending there that's the other thing guys how are you guys doing with your vending have you decided to vend yet and if you have not why let me ask you guys a question why do you do what you do I'll be curious to know, why do you do what you do? Meaning, if you are a artist, a crafter, um, a DIY creator, content creator, whatever you want to call yourself, why do you do it? One of the things I had, I've always admired about people is that they're able to do things they love and make money at it. And sometimes in this day and time, that's, a, that's rare because people don't really like their jobs. It's not their passion. And I can identify with that because I've done medical billing, life insurance, all kinds of things and it it pays the bills but i'm not an office person so i'm always working towards my ultimate goal and that is to work for myself and i'm gonna get there pretty soon Okay, so this is the third one of the second pair in this one moment, y'all. So as you can see, I painted so far three pair. I'm on my fourth. And the black pair have not fully dried yet.
Now I'm also gonna be doing a silver pair, so hold on so you guys can see that. So again, where are you guys bending? Are you, how serious are you guys about what you do? I, I wanna know because I know a lot of people um, they just like to craft or whatever. They don't really have a business or anything like that. They just like to craft. And that's okay. But for those of you that really want to take this thing, you're crafting to a whole nother level. You know, you actually want to run a business. What are you doing? How are you branding yourself? And I talk about that a lot. Branding is very, very important. As I said before, I'm getting ready to do this um, other con uh, conference coming up. And I'm about to take it to the next level because these are different type of women. And so I'm already, you know, got my, win my wheel spinning inside of my mind thinking, okay, what can I do that's different? What can I do? And I'm already thinking about that right now. So... What I want to ask you all is that how do you prepare for your events? And also, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I did do my setup. And I'll probably show you a picture of the setup. Maybe in this video so you guys can see it, how I did my setup. All right, now this is the silver, guys, that I'm pouring out, okay? And I did get these from these acrylic paints from Tamu. So they're brand new. Okay. And I'm mentioning that again just to let you know where I got them from. All right. So the other ones are drying right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move those over. I'm going to move them over. Set them aside so I can do some more canvassing. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. There we are. That's enough room for the new ones. All right. Now it's good. Let me tell you guys. It's good to get these all done at one time. And I'll tell you why. Because then you don't have to go back and do them again. Meaning that one by one. You can already just have them ready. And I had to straighten that out, y'all. It's all little imperfections in there. Um, so I try to do as many as possible. And then I put the uh, stickers on there. And these are the stickers I'm going to be using, y'all. Okay. Those are Dollar Tree stickers, y'all. And it is amazing what you can do with Dollar Tree products. I'm telling you. All right. So I'm just going ahead and paint this. Now, I see that the silver is a little bit light. So I'm definitely going to have to do like a second coat for this one. Now, the copper doesn't seem to need a second coat. I think the first coat is just fine. Let me know if you're interested in the paint-a-thons or if you're enjoying it. I know a few people have said they like those videos. Let me know if you like them. So, of course, I won't be doing the resin part of it in this video. But I will come back and do that video later.
And so basically what I'm doing, guys, is just spreading it evenly across so it doesn't have any uneven look. And then I'll show you the silver and you're gonna see why I need to do another coat. This silver is very, very light. So I'm gonna do another coat. But I have to wait till that one dries. If you wanna know where I got these planks from, I got these off of Amazon as well, and I'll try to post a link. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have been thinking, and that was, you know, we we try to master different uh, platforms. And although I would love to be able to be able to post on every platform, I would love to be able to do that. I just don't really have the time for it. So I've made Facebook and YouTube my focus. And the reason why I made Facebook my focal point instead of Instagram or TikTok and all those other places, I do have items like on Pinterest as well. I post on there from time to time. I post on Facebook more because that's where my market is. And so I wanted to encourage you all, don't just try to focus on putting everything on every platform. Work the platforms that work the best for you. And right now, YouTube and Facebook are my platforms. And that's where I get the most um, transactions at. And I really want to encourage you all to don't feel overwhelmed when having to do all this social media stuff right social media can, you can have social media burnout and so again what i have decided is to focus on two platforms right now that's youtube and that's facebook and again my clientele is on facebook i've been doing facebook lives for i want to say about five years now because i started really doing it before the pandemic hit and i want to say 2019 i started but it could have been before then and i'll go back and confirm that but um i know i've definitely been on there doing lives or been more active with lives since 2019 and so that's why i've chosen to stick with it and i felt it was important to represent handmade all right y'all so now i'm going to work on a two-tone color i think i think i want to do um well i don't know well let me do this brown over here i think this is a brown, so I'm gonna try that. I wanna see how that looks. And guys, if you uh, don't like how it looks, you can always paint over it. Yes, you can, you can paint over it with um, black. Okay, so I guess, wipe that off of there. So I'm gonna start with the fuchsia, which is actually called muleberry. <laughs> and I did get that from the dollar store. Guys, this paint really um, works from the dollar store. I really like it. You get a bigger bottle than you would from um, from Michael's. Michael's, theirs is this big. But it's still a lot of paint in there. Don't get it wrong. 
All right, so I'm just going to fool around. I don't really have a pattern in mind. I'm just going to fool around with this. Okay. So now I just did that and put that brush down. And then I'm going to add in some of this brown. And I'm just going to do whatever. Okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. Just make it pretty. So this is the fuchsia and the brown. Okay. I'm going to pick up this other brush. And I'm going to go back in with some more fuchsia. That's amazing what you can do with a canvas. Now, it may not look like much right now, but it will once I finish. So what I'm doing is sort of trying to even it out a little bit. So let me show you what I did before. People like this type of um, earrings, by the way. So... What I'm going to do now is I want to add a little bit more brown in this area. And I'm just going to go wiggle the lines just a little bit just to give it more of an even look. Even though there's no um Even this in a sense of uh, colors, but I can make it blend in better. That's my purpose of going over it. Okay, let me show you that. Okay, I'm on to the next one. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Sorry about that. All right, so we're going to do this again. Sort of like the same. It's not going to be identical, y'all, but it will. It, you can make it as close as possible. Unless you're just one of those people that can make it identical.
Okay, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> All right, there we are. Now we're on to this one. So what I'm doing is just taking a brush and gently going around like in a curve motion. It gives it like a more in-depth look, I think. <clears throat> so the other um, earrings are almost dry. And if you see me doing side strokes... <clears throat> that's because I'm just kind of trying to even out the pattern okay right now <clears throat> so guys i am going to end this video and i'll pick up in another video thank you to all my new subscribers my returning subscribers thank you for your support i always appreciate you coming to watch my videos and until the next video happy beating